Hey guys, it's Artist and Tony. Don't you hate tunnel vision? Well, I do too. And today, I'm going to solve that little problem. It's not really a problem, but I'm going to convert my aperture sight to a notched or open sight. You probably recognize the funky AR. Just got some a few tools here. A little pin light to highlight some things because this black gun is so hard to film. And a, a 1 16th punch and a screwdriver and just another bigger punch to act as a little hammer. And yes, it is the funky AR. I'll try to get a better shot of it when I'm done. I don't know what it is about the aperture sights, but I always feel like I'm you know, I'm looking through a tunnel or that I've, I don't know, they're just so uh, constricting or um, what's the word I'm looking for. Anyway, I think I can acquire a target a lot faster if I have an open sight. So I'm going to convert mine today and then I want to take it out to the range and zero at, uh, I guess, for 50 and uh, 200 yards. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my small punch and locate the little tiny hole where the pin is. I've turned this uh, in this direction, so I'll be punching it in that direction. I thought I would use this little tiny light to try to lo locate the hole. There it is. Now I'm not going to uh, tap this all the way out. I don't think I need to. I just want to leave that in there so it, I don't have to try to get it started when I'm putting it back on. So you can see now what we have is the little spring. I'm just going to try to put that back in there. It's funny, on black objects, I don't think you can get enough light. So that that little ball is going to be, oops, <laughs> easy to lose. So be careful not to lose that. Okay, so now we just have to back out this screw. <laughs> But this is the small one that's in my kit. So that's what, I'm, what I've got to deal with. I've got to use it at the moment. I need to quit looking at the viewfinder. <laughs> keep my eye on the screw because I keep missing. You see there's the little hole the pin goes through. So that, that one I'm going to do is take it out and put it on the grinder, I mean the bench vise, and I'm just going to slice it halfway across the aperture. Okay, so here I am out competing with the weed eaters and the leaf blowers. <laughs> so what I thought I would do is just take some tape and Put it on my vise. I think that's going to help protect it and also um, help you be able to see better what I'm doing. The so black should show up better against the black, the blue background than the uh, than the black, the dark color. So let's see, I'm just going to set it in there like that. Hopefully not damage. That seems to be pretty solid. The lighting is pretty bad out here. I'm hoping you can see.
Well, that was easy now. I think I'm going to have to create a new notch though. I think I actually cut the notch out. That metal is pretty soft. I thought it was going to be a little better to work with, but let's see if I can file it down here. The other thing I want to do is take off those corners because when I'm reaching in there flipping that up and down I don't want to catch my finger on it. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to file a new notch. So, I'm going to have to get it in the What I'm going to do is just turn this file on its edge to create like a 45 degree V. Uh oh. I don't have it tight enough. This old vice is probably 100 years old. Needs a bigger V-groove, doesn't it? Gotta be careful with these vices. You'll this metal seems to be soft. It's almost like cast aluminum. I can end up crushing that thing. A little cockeyed. Okay, that's good enough for now. I know it looks strange. I'm going to touch it up with some paint. I'm just going to use some black uh, Krylon. When that dries, I'll uh, put it back on. Okay, it's not perfectly symmetrical, but I think it's what I want. It's just something to align the rear sight quickly. And if it doesn't work out, I'll just buy a new set. Okay, let's run the screw back through. I didn't have the screw pushed in far enough so I couldn't line up the holes so let's try it again there we go
Okay. Yep. It's clicking. Okay, I was going to try to show this. <laughs> I'm obviously not going to be able to show you the eye, you know, the human eye version of this, but maybe what I can do is show you what it appears, how it appears to me. Well, that's probably the best view I can give you. I've been trying to finagle the gun around to give you a good sight picture, but I just can't can't get one. So I may just draw out one. Yeah, so there's my standard sight, right? It's like a, the sight is still a little bit. But the way it looks to me is I've got like a V-groove. It comes up on your side, like that. And it flattens out a little bit. Like that. It comes down. Like that. So what I'll do is I'll shift it just right at the top of my, that flat spot on your side. With the uh, top of the sight post. Just like that. Okay guys, well. I'm gonna to go to the range, and I think I'm gonna make that part two. This took a little longer than I thought it was going to, as far as the video, so I'll make going to the range part two, and uh, we'll see you on the range.